this model is just so insanely fast. <sighs> Look at that. Write a book. Oh my goodness, so crazy quick. All right, so check this out, guys. Today I wanna to tell you about this new model, and it's not really that new. It came out maybe a week or two ago, but it's finally merged with Llama CPP. I think it has been for a little bit. I just hadn't updated things. Works in LM Studio, and it's just crazy fast, and it's so good for the size. So this by Liquid AI, it's a mixture of experts model, LFM2, 8 billion, 1 billion active parameters. Now, what does that mean? That means it's gonna be quick, right? So if you remember, I have an absolutely cheap graphics card. It's like a RTX 4060. I don't think it's even the TI version. I have eight gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, I am using the Q4. Uh, I think I'm using a little bit different quant than is here, but it's roughly about 4.75 gigs of VRAM once it's fully loaded up. So check this out. This is by Liquid AI. It says it's faster than Quen 3 1.7b and the quality is comparable to a three or four billion dense model. Now what I want you to think about, do you actually need more for your day-to-day -day workflow than what this model offers? Okay, so we've been we've been doing a lot of thinking about LLMs lately, and people keep going bigger, right? Like GLM 4.6 just dropped. People are pumped about that. It's a great model, but it's also a big model, right? And a lot of us can't run it, so a lot of folks out there are waiting for 4.6 Air. I know a lot of people like 4.5 Air, but at the same time, we have like GPT's models, which are like OSS 120B, right? It's a great model, but it's pretty big. And we also have OSS 20B. Again, a pretty good model, but it's pretty big big. So what can we do? I started looking at these smaller ones. This one caught my attention, mostly because Liquid AI also has these much smaller models, okay? So uh, I was looking at their Liquid Nanos, and I've been really happy with their 1.2 billion parameter RAG. That made me look at some of these other models that they have, and I don't know, you can go through their Hugging Face page, you can check them out yourself, but I was just blown away by this mixture of experts model. Let's check it out real quick. Okay, so we're back here. I'm just going to open up a new chat. As you guys know, my first thing that I like to ask is I like to ask a question about birds and see if it's actually accurate, right? So the first thing I typically ask is, what is the largest falcon in the world? And look at that, already kicking it back and it gets the answer correct with Jeer Falcon. Now that caught my attention, right? Because as you guys know, there's a lot of models that get that question wrong. So we were off to a good start. The next thing that I wanted to know is like, can it help me fix an email? Because these are the two of the main things that I use it for is like quick fact checks and maybe like helping me write an email nicer. So I'm gonna come up with an absolutely terrible thing that I would never actually write in an email, but I wanna see if it can make it better and nicer without me having to like fuss over it, right? So I'll say, help me write a professional email. I'm an academic make this sound okay so I can send it and be like your software sucks it's just bad doesn't work broken lots of bugs you're wasting my time money and energy why are you so bad at programming again I'd never send this email I would absolutely never send this email, right? But I wanna see what this can do to take something I would absolutely never send, reformat it and see if it can make it a little more appropriate. Because I don't know about you guys, but for me, one of the things I struggle with is like, if I'm trying to have a hard conversation, it's hard to translate that into words that are come across nicely through text. So a lot of times what I like to do is I will just write my brain dump into an LLM. I'll have it converted into something nicer for me to give me new ways to think about it. And then I'll start rewriting from there. So let's see what it comes up with. Again, lightning fast. And this is just an eight gigabyte GPU. This is not a good GPU by any means. So let's see what it says. I hope this message finds you well. I'm writing to share my experience with the software currently in use for my research, which has unfortunately fallen short of expectations. I appreciate the effort invested in the development, but several critical issues hinder usability. Key among them, malfunctions, bugs, performance instability, disrupting workflow, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I respectfully request a review of these technical shortcomings. Okay, so that's not terrible, right? Like I wouldn't send this email as it's written, same way I wouldn't send it out of any LLM. I always go back through and I rewrite, but it gives me really good ideas of ways that I can have a productive conversation instead of just a, this absolutely sucks, make it better type conversation. So really happy with that. Um, something I haven't done at all, let's test this model for RAG, okay? I have not even remotely tested this for RAG yet. Um, I have this paper here on my desktop. 
This is about uh, Teach LM. It's a paper that just came out relatively recently. We're gonna let it do its embedding real quickly. Uh, I don't remember what embedding model it's using. I, I haven't messed around with RAG recently and I have a tendency to change them around. So no idea what it's using, but whatever. We'll just run with it. I think it's, yeah, I don't, I don't even want to say what I think it is because I've changed it so many times. Uh, what is the main point of this paper? Okay, I, I, I laughed because I read this first line. The main point of the paper, based on the content. Well, of course, that is exactly what I would want you to do is to look at the content. <laughs> but anyway, it says, despite significant advancements in LLMs, um, blah, 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 remain insufficient. The research highlights patterns across various models. Okay, not bad. Um, let's see if we can get a different paper here. Okay, so let me open up another new chat. So... I have this other paper on my desktop about uh, Seco Fancy, and I spelled it wrong here because, you know, I was in a rush when I saved it because I wanted to read it later. Let's just see if we can get it to summarize this and apply it to an educational context, which is my field. Uh, how can I apply the thoughts from this paper into education? Again, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever if this model can do this effectively. Normally I would use the LFM RAG model, which is small, but let's see what this says. Applying the insights from this work to education involves designing debate and reasoning exercises that reduce psychophantic tendencies and strengthen it over mere logical formalism. Uh, the analysis emphasizes shifting focus from accepting answers uncritically to actively rejecting false assumptions. Okay, I like this. Um, okay, I, I really like this. I didn't expect to like this response as much as I do, but you know, when I started this, I was asking the question, is this, can this be like my new go-to model? And it's, it's, it's kind of hitting that spot where I'm like, it might be, it might be. All right, what's one more thing that we can do? We did RAG and we asked it a science question. Let's ask it to code. Um, so I like to, let's like make a basic web page for a professor, right? That's something you might want to do. So make a basic landing page for a university professor that looks professional. It should help them get a job at a better university. Let's see what it comes up with. Do, do, do. It's so fast. I love how fast this model is. I haven't had a model this fast on this GPU in like, Oh my gosh, I can't, like, since I've been playing around with these, like, 1 billion parameter models. Oh, this website doesn't look awful. Let me slide this over so we can see it better. Okay, so I would say not a great website. We asked for a basic website, and I think I put that in the text even, make a basic website. Yeah, make a basic landing page. So let's uh, push the model a little bit, and we'll start a new one, and we'll say, make a freaking awesome landing page for a university professor that can help them get a new job it should wow people let's see what it comes up with here okay this is code it bro i don't want it to just give me the words. I wanted to code it. All right, so now it's coding and understands what we're doing. Uh, let's see what it does. I'm wondering if it's going to come up with something kind of the same or if it's going to like really kind of push the boundaries of what I would expect a 1 billion active parameter model to do. Let's see. Looks like it's following a pretty general format we often see on landing page. Oh, oh, I see a bear. What? There is a bear video? Oh my gosh, look at this. Guys, it put a freaking bear. <laughs> I cannot believe we're seeing a bear. Where did this video come from? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this model is apparently creative and it put a freaking bear video into our website. Now, is that what you want in your website? Do you want a bear? Most people probably know. Me, I'd be stoked to have a freaking bear there. And the other thing is you can actually just go in and in the code change the video, I'm sure, relatively easily. Okay, so I'm kind of pumped about that. Let's uh, move on to one last final test here because, oh, oh man, that was so cool. I, okay, I need to compose myself. Okay, I didn't, I didn't expect there to be a freaking bear. All right, last thing. What if we need help like coding in R, right? So R is really hard for a lot of people and especially when you're first learning. So let's find out how we can do a meta-analysis in R. 
uh, how do I do a random effects meta analysis with the metaphor package in R? I want to use Reml. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. Uh, I don't know what this NI stands for. Sample sizes or weights? Okay. Um, I don't. Un I don't. Off the top of my head, I don't know if you can actually. Uh, put this in there in the metaphor call. I think you probably can, but I don't know 100%. But this part of it looks good. Um, and the method part looks good. So that looks all right. Forest fit, yeah, summary. Okay, so generally speaking, it's not awful. It gets us in the ballpark pretty quick here. So anyway, you are probably wondering what is the actual tokens per second of this model. Uh, I am running it through LM Studio. Let me switch to LM Studio real quick and we can check out what that actually is. Okay, so here we are in LM Studio. Uh, I actually already have the model loaded, but I'm just going to click it to make sure it knows. And we will just say, I don't know, let's say, we can ask the same question we asked earlier. What is the largest falcon on the planet? All right, Deer Falcon, great. So the funny thing is, this is actually running slower than it normally does. Oh my gosh, it's running so much slower than it normally does. Okay, so when I run OBS, it really takes up a lot of my graphics card for some reason, and it runs typically pretty slowly compared to when I'm not running OBS. So without OBS, this actually typically runs at about 150 tokens per second. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually stop the recording right now. I'm gonna do another one, then I'm gonna show you the output so you can see that that's what it typically runs at for me. All right, so here we are back. I asked the same question again. Literally, all I did was I unloaded the model real quick. I turned off OBS and closed it completely. I ran this because, like I said, when I run OBS, it tends to slow down any LM that I'm running on my machine at the moment. So I reloaded it, and you can see when I ran the same question, again, it comes up with the same answer, which is great. But also, it's running at 150 tokens per second. So 150 tokens per second, it's hard to get across how fast that really is. Let's. Let's see what it does. So look, that was 114 when I said hi. So if I say, write a small, write a 200 word story. Let's just see what it does with OBS running now. Oh my gosh, I just love how fast this model is. 122 tokens per second, and that's with OBS running. Okay, so what's the, what's the too long didn't read version of this, even though we're at the end of the video now? I'm pretty impressed with this LFM2 8 billion, but only 1 billion active parameter model. Like this is actually going to become my go-to now, the one that I queue up as soon as I log into my LMs for the day. It is so fast and it does the 90%, or at least it seems like it's gonna do that 90%. So previously in all openness, I was using OSS 20B a lot with reasoning on medium or high, but that runs so much slower on my machine. I don't think it's worth the time to me when I can run this at 122 tokens per second and it's going to get me that same 80 to 90 percent there for the types of tasks that I do as an academic. So that said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually cut off the video here. I don't think I need to continue babbling for a long time. All I can say is I've been really happy with this model. If I had a bigger GPU, I'd run it at a higher quantization, but I don't. I have an eight gigabyte graphics card, so I'm running it at Q4. Um, actually, if we look really quickly, we can look exactly at what it's at. I think it's a Q4KL. Uh, I'm sorry, a Q4K. I'm just not, I'm gonna stop talking while I'm trying to read. Um, let's see if we can find it. Here we go. So it is Q4KXL. It is a 4.74 gigabyte file. Uh, I downloaded it. it. This is the one from Unsloth. I think there's actually a newer GGUF directly from Liquid AI available now, but this is the one that I'm using and I've been happy with it so far. So anyway, if you guys feel like checking it out, please feel free to check it out. I would really very much appreciate to hear your thoughts on this model. If you do check it out. Also, I think it's helpful for everyone. If you can report what tokens per second it is running at on different GPUs, because I think that's a really great benchmark for us to start keeping track of and keep ideas. So I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but honestly, I've been super busy and I haven't had anything I was that excited about recently. This model was the first thing in a long time to get me really excited about LLMs and think about how I can use it in my academic workflow. So that said, uh, please like and subscribe to help support the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great weekend.